person saying yes to life is always right and brings all good things saying no to life is always wrong brings all negative things all your questions are answered just by this one sacred truth wherever he is suffering is he saying yes to life question all your standards of morals question all your concepts of right when your aspirations get matured and life raises you to experience the conscious pleasures understand initiation bliss all these are conscious pleasures if you feel there is certain confusion what i should say yes or no the upanishad the answer for this question we introduce god and kamikagama what i'm finding so powerful right now about the upanishads that swami ji is talking about is the effect it's going to have on young people especially the people that i have been working with back in canada i've meditated with kids in prison with just my son's friends and they don't understand the effect that's having in, on their dna that constantly talking death having thoughts of death are going to kill you and when swami ji says saying yes to life choose life um it's such a profound statement because half the world isn't more than half the world and especially our youth culture is not choosing life they're being encouraged to choose death so i hope with all my heart they watch swami ji on the upanishads Arturia's older daughter uh, is at home because she has a brain cancer and right now she's going through the treatment. She's uh, going through radiations and uh, most of the time when she goes through radiation they, she has to uh, have the blood transfusions also because her blood gets uh, bad. Um, that means she goes through radiation from Monday to Friday and then on the weekends they also have to stay in a hospital so they can give her the blood transfusion. So she was worried how she's going to be able to come here, pack her stuff if she has to stay in the hospital for the weekend. But just day before um, she has to leave, um, her daughter had a blood transfusion and her results of that was so good. It was the best uh, past six months that she was able to go back home and pack everything and be able to come here. Right now her husband is with her daughter in the hospital and she's continuing with the radiation treatment. Uh, basically, she's here since uh, Monday, so the whole week she went through radiation and she didn't need any blood transfusion since. So the whole week since she's being here and her husband's being there with her daughter in the hospital, continuing with the radiation treatment. It's the first week she didn't need any blood transfusion. So uh, I think these are huge miracles and you can see how Swamiji's energy works and heal even though she's not physically here. What I understood was Swamiji said the pleasure we get from the mind is like name and fame. Five senses is like um it can be so many things. Anything you get from five senses like it can be listening to music or whatever. And pleasure from the consciousness is like during the time of initiation or when your kundalini is awakened this is what i understood the action which you do it, if it is out of the right context which is going to expand you then it will put you into the space of completion it will lead you to the space it will obviously lead you to the space of god 
See, that's why Swamiji said Kamikagma. Like, it's a lifestyle which Mahadeva himself has uh, proposed for all of us. And when we do it out of that context, like even brushing our teeth, when we brush our teeth out of the context that, oh, Mahadeva has given this to us, so we are brushing this teeth like Mahadeva wants us to, we are doing it out of the context of expansion. There are three friends who walk, and three of them see a high compound. So the first friend climbs up, and he sees something. He'll not even tell anything to the two friends. He just jumps in. And the second friend climbs up, and he sees inside. There'll be like um, a garden, a, a, a fruit orchard full of fruits and nice trees, and it'll be very nice. So what he'll do, he'll just tell the third, uh, the third person that it's very nice inside, come. Whereas the third person runs, he runs to the whole village and he says, beyond this compound, there's something which we all, which we all can enjoy. It's so nice. Come, let's all go. And he takes all of them. So though the second person and the third person does the action of calling another person, but the space he, the second friend just wanted to tell it to the third friend. But then the third friend wanted to tell it, make sure he's also enjoying and everyone else also gets the same what he's enjoying. Thank <laughs> you.